Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Today I'm going to keep this video really short and I'm going to give you a tip uh, regarding uh, the radio communication with ATC. Initially when the Microsoft Flight Simulator was launched, uh, the piloting assistance was provided over here in the menu on the top. But uh, somehow it was just uh, moved from here. And I was away for, uh, for a very long time, almost for six months. And, and now once I was back, I just noticed that this option is not there. So I just found it in the options. If you press escape in your simulator and you go to assistance options and you look for piloting over here, you will see all the assistance regarding the piloting. That's auto rudder, assisted yoke, assisted checklist, uh, assisted landing and takeoff and so on and so forth. And plus over here, you will see AI radio communication ATC. I keep it off because I make videos for the YouTube and video communication is a big, big hindrance while I'm talking. So <laughs> I just keep it off. Uh, so it's totally up to you whether you want to take controls uh, in your hands. You want to do the radio communication yourself. You can do it by turning this option off. Or if you just want to uh, do an automated thing, you can keep it on. So once I'm uh, flying, uh, when I'm not recording a video, I keep it on so that, you know, I have a proper communication with the ATC and everything is going smoothly. So uh, this is how you can change it from the settings over here. So once this thing is in off position, if you go back and uh, you click this ATC option, then you can do the communication yourself. You can call in the ground services, you can um, tune into AI ATIS and stuff like this. Or if you know the frequencies, you can also dial them over here. You see, now we are dialed into 118.4. And if right now, if I change the frequency, I will stop hearing the ATC because if it is uh, switched to uh, AI, uh, the AI will automatically tune into the ground. No matter how many times you change the frequency, it will always come back. So this was a small tip for the beginners. And uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys because obviously there are so many things in the simulator to explore. And uh, I'm just trying to help everybody to make their experience uh, good uh, for the simulator. If you've got any other questions, please type your questions in the comment section. Uh, I try to answer all of them. And if I don't, kindly accept my apologies in advance. But I just try to get back to everybody who comments in the comment section. And uh, plus any positive feedback is more than most welcome on my channel. I really love to receive that. And if you've got any suggestions, more than most welcome. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon.